So Black Friday and Cyber Monday have just ended, or perhaps Christmas has just passed and you've got yourself a new GPU. But wait, what's this noise I'm hearing? No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> now, since this is one of the worst noises you can experience coming from your PC, you are tearing me apart. I've got some good news and I've got some bad news. Which one would you like first? The bad news. Good choice. So, coil wine is when the presence of high electrical frequencies cause vibrations in the inductors and other components of the GPU. And that's why you probably only experience this whine or hum when you're playing with high FPS or your GPU is under high load. So this could maybe be playing easy to run titles such as Valorant and CSGO, or maybe trying to push your GPU to the limit by trying to max out something like Cyberpunk. The bad news in all of this is that some coil wine is accepted as perfectly normal by manufacturers, so you're gonna have a really hard time trying to return your card under this reason. But curb that sense of dread and despair because the good news is that while I might not be able to completely help you get rid of the noise, we can try some things to at least hopefully reduce it significantly enough to where it doesn't bother you anymore. The first thing we can try then, which isn't the main thing that we can try a little bit later on, but it probably is the simplest that you can apply, is to simply cap your frame rate. So every game now will pretty much have a frame rate limit option on the settings. So just go into there and let's say you're playing a game like Valorant and getting 300 FPS, maybe cap it to 240, 144 and then see what the noise is like then. It's not ideal because you've probably got that card for a reason to hit those frame rates, but at least it will help us sort of diagnose if it is the GPU that's causing the issue by potentially lowering the noise that it is outputting. If setting a cap on the frame rate has reduced the noise coming from the GPU, then what we can do is undervolt the GPU. Now this is gonna be a little bit compl more complicated, but it's pretty simple to be fair. So all you're gonna to have to do is open a game that can push your GPU hard to let's say 99% utilization, or you could download like a heaven benchmark because that will also push it to that 99% utilization, and then go ahead and download MSI Afterburner if you don't have it already. There are many ways to do this. This is just how I do it, and uh, it's a way that you can keep your FPS roughly the same and also lower your power consumption. So I'm sitting in Cyberpunk 2077 and the reason for this is because it is a game that pushes my GPU to pretty much its limit. And uh, as you can see in the top left, we're sitting at 2745 megahertz and we're pulling around 400 watts, just over or just under, depending on what we're doing. Uh, framework wise, we're in the mid 70s, sometimes getting up to 80. And uh, yeah, I'm just gonna show you what you'd have to do to undervolt. So, um, normally I would have, as like I do right now, I have the NVIDIA um, overlay pulled up, but since this is the screen recording, you can't see that. And that's basically gonna show me my voltage. So you can do that as well. You can download your GPU manufacturer's software, or you can download a third party one, there's plenty of them and they will basically show you the voltage and all the other little details like that. But this is the way I do it. So all I'm gonna do now is bring up MSI Afterburner uh, that I already have open here on desktop. And then once you've got it open like this, you just have to click on the curve editor down here. And then this will bring up this uh, graph up here and you can see on the left we have our frequency and we have our voltage. So in mine, I could see that on my NVIDIA control panel, I was at 1.1 volts. And yours will be around this range, maybe a bit less or maybe very slightly more. Um, but all you need to do is, so for example, I know that mine is at 1.1. And you want to go down in 25 increments. So you go to 1075, then you will test it, see if it's stable, then go to 1050 test it, see if it's stable, etc. So I know that this card is stable to around 950. So then you would grab one of these points and then you would go up or down and you can see on the left hand side that the frequency is changing. So you wanna match pretty much what, you've, what you're seeing in game at the moment at that 99% utilization. So mine is at 2745. So I'm gonna drag this up to around 2745. Doesn't have to be exact, that will do. Then just above this point, we're gonna hold shift, drag across, then we're gonna hit enter while still holding shift, 
and then we're going to hit enter again and that's going to line up our other point so it doesn't go above this uh, voltage or frequency and then all we're going to do is hit apply over here on MSI Afterburner and now that we're back in game you can see again on the top left that our wattage has gone down pretty significantly it's uh, in the low 300s now as opposed to being in the high 300s and hitting 400 now it's uh, pretty much under 330 constantly so we've dropped to at least 70 watts of power being drawn and in some cases up to 100 and as you can see our FPS has remained pretty much the exact same so hopefully this should reduce the overall noise that you're going to experience from your card um, especially if you can get the voltage to drop a fairly significant amount like this. Now if capping the frame rate and undervolting the GPU had no effect on the noise coming from your PC then I do just want you to double check that it is actually the GPU that's making the noise just because undervolting and frame capping should have reduced the power consumption of the GPU and as we looked through already in this video the high electrical frequencies is what's making the vibrations in the inductors actually vibrate and make that noise. So it is possible that it's not actually your GPU, but it could also be your PSU or perhaps even the motherboard. Maybe your new GPU is much more power hungry than your last GPU and therefore your power supply isn't keeping up with it and therefore is causing a power inconsistency and therefore causing more vibrations and making the noise so it could be your PSU that is the problem so potentially switch that out and finally another little thing that you could try which I don't think would be the cause of the problem is to simply update your GPU drivers and make sure they're up to date I don't think there would be any problem with AMD or Nvidia but if you do have an Intel card as you've seen by some of my previous videos if you have seen them then they can be a little bit strange and finicky so it could well be a driver update that is uh, causing these issues um, maybe they've uh, included a power uh, delivery update in one of the drivers at some point so it's always worth just to try that especially with Intel but hopefully the frame capping and undervolting of the GPU did the trick for you so if I did help you if you did find this video informative if you could leave a like maybe subscribe and hit the bell notification that would be fantastic but that's gonna be all from me bye